What's up family? It's your boy Bo and you're tuning into another episode of Bo to Dope and today's topic is how you gonna have Luther Vandross expectations from a little boosie and uh, don't forget smash that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload but yeah and what I mean by that is if anybody that's watching those Luther Vandross you know that he was a man pretty much savvy on talking about how to love a woman and how a woman you should be loved and you know who wasn't um, scared to express his feelings and, 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 and to be you know intimate with a woman he wasn't scared to do that then you got Boosie he's a street nigga he don't give a f about none of that just, just a straight up street you know what everybody call nowadays a real Anyways, I'm gonna bleep all them words out because I try not to curse on my on my own channel. But anyways, that's what the topic is gonna be about today, and I'm gonna get into that in just a sec. Stay tuned. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why they hate. I don't. I'm back, family. What's going on? So let's talk about it. You know, I don't want my channel to seem sexist, but these are issues that you know a lot of people even women can admit they see a lot of women say this or they probably said themselves or expected themselves you know they want they want a man to have want to want a, want a man to be street but then they want him to have luther vandraw tendencies too you know and you can sometimes you can get lucky and get that out of a man sometimes but it all depends though you know if you my opinion, if you mess with a straight street dude and then you expecting him to act like, you know, just be this loving dovey, all good, it's faithful ass dude, like, you're not gonna get that from him. Sorry, it don't work like that. <laughs> it don't work like that. What's gonna happen is you're gonna keep going in this cycle, this consistent cycle, that's gonna constantly keep you, that's gonna constantly keep you, you know, uh, um, running back to the same type of dude. Because you can't real, because you're not, you're not dis distinguishing the two and you're not separating them and saying, hey, okay, I know that I can't get this type of man out of this type of man. It just ain't no way. He's gonna have to either all be all the way soft or be all the way hard. And either way, you're gonna have to accept either one. So if he if he's all the way soft, you're gonna have to love that, that soft ass man. You have to love him. If he's all the way hard, you're gonna have to love that hard ass man. <laughs> Simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like me saying that, you know, I want a woman to, I want my woman to have Steve Urkel tendencies, but Meg the Stallion, but I want her to act like Meg the Stallion. What? <laughs> I don't even go together. Like, for real, come on. Be real with yourself. Anyways. Shit, I had to think about that one again. Anyway. Yeah, you know, I, it just don't work. It don't go together. So, you know, you sitting up there and wanting that, it's, you're gonna constantly run into a brick wall every time because you're not realizing that you're putting yourself in a position to get hurt every time. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you want Luther Vandross tendencies from a thug ass dude? Why? It don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Like. For real, like me, I don't know. I probably would be the best of both worlds because I'm a tech geek. But then at the same time, you know, I grew up in the hood. You know what I'm saying? But I show more of my more of my geeky side than I do my hood side. But my hood is always there. You can hear it in my voice when I talk. You know, that'll never leave. You know, you might take somebody out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of them. So, you know, what I'm saying is that, you know, if you're going to pick your man, pick your man and, and, and love your man, let's go for dudes too. You know, you're going to pick your significant other, pick that person and love them for who they are. Whether they is a, a, an abusive person, I'm not saying be with an abusive person, but if they are, don't try to change that person. You know what I'm saying? You knew, you seen the red flags, you knew what type of person that person was when you got with them. Him or her, I'm trying not to sound sexist because I'm not, but I'm just... I'm just addressing my opinion on something right now. But anyways, yeah. Disclaimer. But anyway, yeah, you know, if you're going to be with somebody, be with that person for who they are. If that person's a killer, love that killer. You know, if that person's a dork, a geek, love that geeky-ass person and be with that person. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't, 
Leave them alone. Be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit up there and hurt yourself or possibly hurt that person. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You, Cause you got options. You know what I'm saying? You had options before you even got with that person, but you probably fell in love with the swag, the drip. You know what I'm saying? And person probably looking good that day. Saw it, bam. He got you where he wants you. Got you, got you home. And you know what I'm saying? Did what he did with you. Oh, you super in love now. You know what I'm saying? You extra in love. And now you can't get away from it. And they go for dudes too. They get with a woman and she looking good that night. And then you ain't realize she was, you know what I'm saying? You ain't realize that. Because you wasn't even paying attention to all the red flags. But they was there. What I'm saying, they was there the whole time. Like, that's one thing about a person. A person, an individual does not, they can't hide their true selves. They try to kind of like blend it in to make it look normal. But it's always there. You know what I'm saying? I peep everything. You can say one word and I'd be like, uh -uh. I'm straight. I'm good. <laughs> you carry on, love. I'm good. I'm all right. But that's just me. And that's because I've been through a lot of different things. You know, I've seen a lot of different, I dealt with a lot of different personalities. And, and I've learned from those things. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and those women that I mess with probably can say the same for me. Cause I ain't perfect. I was never perfect. You know, I had my issues too. We all come in a relationship bearing issues. But now, you know, we older, so now we can lay all that on the table. Look here, I'm crazy as hell, okay? Just letting you know that right now, you know? <laughs> or, look, I'm a cheater. I love women, or I love men. You know, I'm, I'm really, I really don't want to settle down, but I want to be with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Now you've opened the door to give that person options. Hmm. He crazy as hell, but he look. He look good, but he crazy as hell. Yeah, I still mess with him. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you give that person person options now. You feel what I'm saying? You you're not just lying to that person and saying, hey, I'm this and I'm that. And what I don't like, I don't like to do, I don't like for people to do, I don't think people should do, don't ask a person what they like in a man or a woman. And if you do, and if a person asks you that, don't tell them, because then they'll use that against you. I believe, that's just my theory on it. Cause if you tell me, knowing what type of dude I was, and how playerific I was, don't tell me that. Cause I'ma take that and I'ma be everything you say until like three four months later when i get tired of acting and you see the real me and i'm just being honest that's how i was you know what i'm saying and i'm pretty sure a lot of young cats right now they going through that stage and they doing it with they don't i ain't gonna say they don't have the intentions to hurt nobody but they don't know no better you know what i'm saying i didn't know no better i didn't have anybody in my ear telling me what i'm saying to y'all right now you know what i'm saying and if i did it probably would have made no difference but at least it was instilled in me because our grandparents and parents instill a lot into us when we children and we still end up messing up you know what i'm saying so you know i, I never understood that how you going to expect a person to have Luther Vandross tendencies, but he, he a little boots ass dude. Like, it don't work like that. And by the way, if you liking this video and you enjoying it, man, smash that like button, man. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell, man. For real, it's it's real out here. And, and women, like, y'all just gotta be careful. Be careful, there's some good dudes out here. It, it is, it, it might be the ones that you don't like, you know? But it's always the dudes that, that that are more mysterious and don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? They might see see you see your post on Facebook and they might like your post, you know what I'm saying? But they rarely, rarely ever say anything, you know what I'm saying? But they like your pictures and and sometimes that can prolong things because he ain't saying nothing. And you you probably live by the old fashioned way, like women aren't supposed to say stuff, say nothing first. Men are supposed to make the first move, like, hey, that's old and that's outdated. Let me say that right now. That is old and outdated. Say something, okay? Say something. Because at the end of the day, if nobody says nothing, you're going to miss out on your blessing. He's going to miss out on his and you're going to miss out on yours. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times nowadays, 
men don't say nothing to women well the ones that are good good dudes and this is in my opinion because i'm like this but they don't say nothing because they know that you have so many dudes in your inbox like what can i say that's abstract that's different from what all these other guys could be saying and most men like me i ain't got time to be sitting up trying to figure out what can i say that's different or that's not like what somebody done already said to her like i'm not finna sit up and figure that out no that's crazy i'm not gonna waste my time so yeah i look at your i like your picture and you be like damn you flirting with me but you won't go ahead and make the first move i'm not going to do it and i'm just speaking for me and if you got me and i do that can agree man comment put it in the comment section tell me if you agree with what i'm saying or if you have something that you don't agree with you know let me know and um uh, you know I, I just honestly i honestly feel like you know if you're going to choose somebody choose that person and then when you know and date that person for a minute and and people say dating is outdated no 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 it's vital dating is vital because that's how you get to know somebody so yeah date that person and like i said don't tell what type of person you're looking for because to be honest with you you don't know you don't know you'll know when you get that person and that person that that person will just be everything you need that person to be extremely correct for you you know then you'll know but you can't change nobody you can't change nobody you can't have you can't put luther vandross jacket on a little boots and you can't do that you know what i'm saying you're gonna shuffle that mug off every time and um you know and the thing about it is you have to love yourself enough to be honest enough with yourself and say no nah, he too much of a street dude he ain't gonna be real with me he's not gonna be honest with me you know and then you get the luther vandross dude that's all the way luther vandross and you gotta be like yeah you know he good but he not street enough for me yeah you can do that but don't try to match the two together you messing yourself up don't do that you go and you see a dude that's a street dude, you're gonna take this street dude and be like, ah, he ain't no good, but I'm gonna be with him. Or you can take Luther Vandross dude and be like, ah, he's a good dude, and I love my peace, and that's what he give me, and this is who I'm gonna be with. Damn the street dude. You feel me? It's dead simple. Don't be trying to say, hey, I can take a little bit of him drinking it out. Nah, no. You can't make no grown ass man do nothing. You can't change this Luther Vandross into the street dude. You can't change this street dude into a Luther Vandross. It's a grown man. You, you can't take nobody out of their comfort zone for your pleasure. No, 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 sweetheart, no. It don't work like that. You feel what I'm saying? So me, man, personally, if I meet a woman and she doesn't do it for me, I'll let her know. I'll let her know. And if she does, I ain't going to tell her. I'm just going to be with her. You know what I'm saying? I might, I may express it every now and then, you know, every now and then, uh, how she, you know, does it for me and how she makes me feel and all that. Every now and then, but it ain't gonna be no thing where I'm talking about, ooh, baby, I just love you a little way you are. You know, that stuff will push somebody away too, because now you seem obsessed. And nobody wants nobody to be obsessed with them. No. Everybody likes their space. And I'm willing to give you that. You know, but all of that is totally up to you. But I'm just sharing my opinion on this because I see it up and down my Twitter feed, my Facebook timeline, all up and down, IG, you know, and I just don't get it. And sometimes I see hurt dudes that be, you know, the same way, messing with the ratchet females, but they expect them to be like Anita Baker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody want an Anita Baker in a woman somewhere, man. You know what I'm saying? Old fashioned woman. You know, they hard to come by. Nine times out of ten, a lot of old fashioned women are, are already taken. You got women out here now, man, that are, that are ratchet, but feel like they good ass women. You only good to yourself. You you think you good to somebody else, but you don't even know that you hurt somebody else. This be the same female that hurt the Luther Vandross dude to be with the, the street Lil Boosie dude. And they talk about, I'm a good woman. She don't know why the little boosty dude don't want her or did her that way. <laughs> oh, you just dogged him out, okay? Karma, yeah, that's how the universe works. You get what you put out, you get what you put out, it just hang on. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, don't be stupid. Like, people, people stupid, man. Like, come on, man. You, you know the damn well that if you do somebody dirty, it's gonna get done to you too. 
you know, all because of what turns what, what heats your little pooty tying up or what turns on your winky woo. <laughs> In my words. <laughs> but anyway, you know, some people do that. Like, you can't do that for real, bro. Like, if I gotta have, if my choice between being with somebody is that hard, I'd rather be by myself for real. It saves me to hurt and it saves somebody else potentially from getting hurt. Cause I don't want, I'm not trying to hurt nobody. And I'm not trying to be hurt. But like I said, man, y'all, if y'all like this video, hit that like button, man. You know, subscribe, notification bell, do all that. And man, tell me what you think in the comments, man. You know, and y'all have a discussion in the comments too. And I join in. I mean, you know, cause let's talk about it. I want to talk about it. Cause this is crazy. Like you can't have those expectations. And this, and you can, women, y'all can flip it around, vice versa, for real. Y'all can flip it around, like dudes want a Anita Baker for a Meg Stag. Like, you can't do that. You can't mix both of them together. Nah, it don't work like that, man. Either she gonna be all the way meet, uh, Anita Baker or all the way Meg Stag. Like, one way or the other, can't go both. Speaking of both ways, that's another topic for another time. But this has been your boy Bo, and I'm signing out saying stay up, stay down, and most importantly, stay real.